Hey friends, Kevin Osti from VATV here, and I'm very excited because this is Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals Week. Uh, yes, the event is this coming Saturday, November 17th, uh, and Sunday at the Stevens Center in Rosemont, Illinois, outside of Chicago. And hopefully you've gotten your uh, newsletter here, the McCacken Magazine, that tells you all about it. But uh, we will be there. Of course, we are streaming Saturday night a special program that we are calling McCacken After Hours Live, which you can watch from anywhere in the world. But to kind of prime the pump and get people excited about what I think is the best muscle car show in the world, all week we decided to look back because this is the 10th anniversary of the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. And we're gonna be sharing some videos that we've shot over previous years, highlighting certain cars and cool interviews. And we're gonna kick that off today with a huge bang. Uh, we're gonna go back to 2015, the year that the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals show hosted 27 Hemi E-body convertibles. These are 1970 and 71, Plymouth Cuda convertible 426 Hemi cars and Dodge Challenger Hemi cars. A display you've never seen before anywhere else and probably never will see again. But it's indicative of what happens at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Tickets are available online, macacken.com, M-C-A-C-N. We would love to see you there at the show. Uh, and if you can't make it, tune into our Macacken After Hours live show, which is presented by the Meekum Auction Company. Uh, showyourauto.com and OPGI. We will be sharing that all over the web on Facebook and on YouTube and uh, responding to comments. And we've got, we've got about 30 cars lined up that we're looking at for the, uh, the overnight show. So that's gonna be a special event all in itself. So we look forward to seeing you in Chicago and let's go throw the Wayback Machine to 2015 for the Hemi e-body display at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Mecom Auctions. The world's largest collector car auction company heads to the Las Vegas Convention Center November 15th to the 17th. A thousand muscle cars, classics, Corvettes, hot rods, resto mods, and more will cross the auction block. Register to bid and buy tickets now and save at Meekum.com. Book your room at the Westgate and join us for the Dodge Thrill Ride. Meekum Las Vegas, November 15th to the 17th. The experience begins at Meekum.com. On this special episode of Muscle Car of the Week, we're taking a look at the amazing collection of 27 Hemi-powered E-body convertibles assembled at the 2015 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, including nine from the Brothers Collection. There are many high points of the muscle car and Corvette Nationals, but I think this year you guys have really not only raised the bar, but the bar is through the roof with this topless display behind us, Charlie. What What is even going on here? It, well, it's kind of got crazy on its own. We ended up with 27 Hemi Cuda and Challenger convertibles. They only made 42 of them. We've got 27 of them here in one spot. There's never been more than nine of them together at one time ever. Really? So they yes. know that much? Yes. They're very hard to get together and they're all, this is unprecedented. The Mopar guys are going crazy over it. Well, I think everybody's going crazy. Yeah. And the dimensions of what this display is, I mean, obviously it's one of the coolest muscle cars ever and a whole bunch of them. But to get these cars here, uh, because when you're dealing with a car that's, you know, mid seven figures, uh, people don't like to truck these around to different events and, and mess with them. Yes, they very seldom come out because they're million plus dollar cars, two, three million. There's a car here that's been turned down five million back <laughs> a few years ago. So it's hard to get them out and then to get them all in one place, the logistics of getting them out, and some of the stuff has not been out for a long time. Mm -hmm. For one reason or other, people got offended, people just weren't ready for it, or they thought their car wasn't nice enough. Well, we're not here to see if their car their car is nice enough. We don't care. It's a celebration of the cars. We got cars here. There's different colors. There's different options. There's different conditions. And they're all equally important. They're really special to see them all in one spot. It's pretty slick. Absolutely it is. And 
of the 27 that are here uh, and the 42 that were produced, do we know how many others are floating out there? Or? This has to be. But there's not very many others that are out. There. So there's it's interesting a few that are not here, but that I know of, but not a lot. Yeah, it's, it's interesting that these people all kind of know each other and know you guys, or you at least found them. Yeah, I found them, and then one guy will go, or I'll bug what's his name, and so you really took the community of the owners to bug each other to let them know how important this was, and that they'll be part of something special. So then they all, it's a group effort on all their parts to load up cars, get them ready, get them here, get flights, get out here, get trailers. And they knew there had never been this kind of gathering before. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of slick. And then Meekum's here and Meekum brought three cars that it, he's part of the 27 and they're going to be at the Kissimmee auction. So if anybody <laughs> wants to join this family, yeah, right. they can go to Kissimmee and very seldom do they come up for sale. No, there's neat. three of them. There's three of them. So what's been uh, some of the feedback of the people that have been walking the aisle and seeing this stuff? I mean, oh, everybody's astounded about the whole show. I mean, yeah. it's just kind of, we've got a Buick Stage 1 convertible display, the second to none. And it's kind of lost in the shuffle a little bit by all these Hemi convertibles because nobody ever dreamed this would happen. Well, and that was going to be my next point is that you've got kind of an ultimate show here, but that's not even... This is one row of the whole building. Yeah, you it know, goes the, on the and on. The displays after display after display. And every one of them, maybe not to this level, but everyone requires the, the same level of commitment and community and communication to find the good cars. Because this just isn't a room full of a blue one and a red one. This is a four-speed convertible, you know. There's some stunning stuff out there, some stuff I didn't know exists. Every little nook and cranny, there's something, you know, there's a Dodge Daytona in the back corner over there. It's like. Really? Yeah, there it is. It's like, so, as event organizers, do you guys plan these things several years out, or is it, you know, who kind of comes up with the ideas? Stuff's rolling around in your heads, and there's car owners that have stuff and suggestions in their heads, and we come up with game plans, and it usually takes a while to plan them all out and get it all rolling and figure out what fits, what works, who can get a car here. It's just a huge thing, but the effort on all the car owners' parts is that now people are actually restoring cars so they can debut them here because it means something and they want to be a part of it. It's really neat to see how it's taken on its own life and, and cars are getting done in time because you got to nudge the builder and he wants to debut the car here. So then the car gets finished. Which helps, yeah. In right. time for the show and it's here. It may go back and get really finished, but yeah. it makes it here. And so it really pushes schedules ahead too. It's a fun thing to watch how it's evolved. And until you've been at the show, you don't understand what's really going on in the gathering of stuff that's here. It's just, it's like this big family reunion of really special cars from all around the nation. It's pretty slick. In the world now. Yeah. Yeah. Something for everybody. Everybody needs to come out here next year. Yeah. If you're not here this year. But usually people that, I've been here once, put it on their bucket list that, you know, it stays on their bucket list. They don't want to be back again. Yeah. yeah, they'll be back. Well, and they're bringing their friends next time. Well, we appreciate the effort and uh, love coming here. And thanks for all the hard work to make it happen. I am your only friend. I know. My one really? handshake here. I'm his only friend. Let me record friend. this for proof. I'm his only friend. See Hi. Yeah, how nice. I'm here as his only friend. Once again. <laughs> once again, his only friend is here with him. This is Charlie Lillard, Kevin's only friend on this planet. Only friend. Yes. <laughs> Strikes again. I'm still his only friend. <laughs> We're going to find him another friend someday. It's lonely at these events. <laughs> All right, man. My only friend. Thanks again. <laughs> See how it's warm and fuzzy. It's starting to tingle. I don't really like him. No. <laughs>